Hello guys, I hope this video find uh, all of you well. Today I would like to talk about a fascinating product which I found online uh, with a company called Shapeways. Uh, but before that, I would like to show you, these are my two main motorcycle street helmets. This one here on the left is a Shoei RF 1200. And this one here on the right is a Shoei GT Air. And as you can see, I have on both of them this uh, chin-mounted cameras uh, set up that I, I like to use. I think it's the best angle uh, to, to record motorcycle videos. But uh, as you will clearly notice, I have this monstrosity of a jig here, which I use in my helmets uh, to install the camera. Uh, why do I have all that? Well, for two reasons. Number one is that in the, you know, today's helmets, it's very difficult to find a flat surface where you can uh, install the support pad for your GoPro camera because these helmets have a very complex uh, aerodynamic shapes. So you cannot find really a surface where you can put your pad. The second reason is that with this sort of complex setup that I, you can see here, with all these joints and all these um, different connections, I can set the camera in all different possible angles. I can tilt it this way, I can rotate, I can do whatever I want. But I pay, of course, a very heavy price for this because particularly here with the, with the Shoei um, uh, GT Air, uh, this, uh, the camera creates a lot of aero disturbance. It creates a lot of noise and also a lot of drag. So when I move my head sideways, I can feel the, the, the helmet being pulled uh, by the setup of the camera. Uh, this bothered me a lot in a recent trip to, uh, to um, Death Valley. It was really, really annoying. So I decided to try a product online and I found this company called uh, Shapeways. So let's take a look at that. And this is the box I received from Shapeways. So Shapeways is a very interesting business. They are a 3D printing business. And besides having thousands of items in their online catalog, they can also 3D print parts specially for you. So let's say, for example, that you need a bracket made uh, and you don't have access to a 3D printer. Well, no problem. You can send them a series of pictures, a sketch. They will even help you to design the very, a very detailed drawing. And after that, they will print the part for you. Uh, they can do that in a wide range of materials, of finishes, of color. Okay, so here we have, here on the left, uh, the GT Air, and on the right, the RF-1200. And here we have the two parts which I received from uh, Shapeways. Unfortunately, they messed up my order a little bit because I wanted the part for the GT Air to be white and the one for the RF-1200 to be black, so they will match the color of the chin, like you can see here but they got it opposite. So now this part here, the black part, is gonna go on the white helmet and the white part on the helmet with the black chin. You know, that's not a big deal. I'm a little bit disappointed, but hey, that's all right. As far as it functions well, I'll be very happy. One thing for you to be, to pay attention though, is when you order parts like those ones, they do not come with the adhesive uh, pad like those here uh, from 3M. So you need to get that separately yourself. And here we have the installation of the Shapeways uh, chin mount for the GoPro. Uh, I really like the installation. It's not a perfect fit, but it's a very, very good fit. It matches uh, rather well the profile of the chin section of the helmet. Uh, the way I mounted the camera, of course you can mount this many different ways, but the way I mounted the camera, I used this series of connectors here that you can see. So I can actually uh, position the camera in different angles if I, I so wish to do. Uh, the price for this uh, chin mounts is about 37 Canadian dollars, which turns out uh, around 27 United States US dollars. It's rather expensive, but um, you know, if you compare with uh, the, what you would pay for the GoPro parts uh, to connect your camera all the way here to the side of the helmet, it actually turns out to be cheaper, unless you use a generic, uh, you know, unbranded GoPro uh, connecting parts. I'm really ha uh, happy with the, the way this came out. Um, you can see here, this is the, the front view. It looks, uh, it looks quite well. Uh, and it's uh, very slim, very neat, and I think, uh, uh, well, I, I hope this is going to help the problems I'm, I'm having in high speeds with the 
pulling my helmet up because all that very large bridge I had here uh, with the side of the helmet. Now let's take a look. Uh, so this one is the RF 1200 and now let's take a look at the installation how it came out in the um, uh, GT Air. Okay, so this is the GT Air and as you can see here that's a very very kind of minimal installation. I really like the way this came out. Uh, note that in the GT Air because of this large vent and all the vent is operated here uh, the um, mount is located, the bracket is located actually lower, it goes all the way to the lower ridge, uh, the lower rim of the helmet, but it is very solid. I actually did a test run yesterday. Um, I'm showing here some uh, quick scenes of the, the run I did yesterday. I really like the way uh, it's mounted and I have the impression, I will still need to test this more, that again those issues I was having with turbulence, particularly on this helmet here, the GT Air, I hope that is going to uh, be minimized or at least reduced now. So as you can see uh, the mount is very small. Uh, again the only problem I had here with uh, Shapeways is that I ordered this mount here white and it came out black and I ordered the mount for the, again this one is the GT Air and I ordered the mount for the RF 1200 black and they made it in white so they, they actually swapped the two colors but that's not a big deal it's just not gonna look as neat as I would have liked but that's you know that's a minor issue